Hi everyone, this is your Monday's guided reading lesson. So we have a new reading extract today. It is a non-fiction news report that talks about different sides of an argument. So it's a bit of a debate all about the technological new phenomenon, which are drones. So the first thing I want you to have a look at is this YouTube video, which introduces everything about drones, why they're used, why shouldn't they be used in different ways, because this extract is a debate about drones and their usage, if they are good things, um, good new technological things for the public, or are they causing a bit of disruption. So for those that don't know, drones are remote control flying devices um, that are used by many businesses and many members of the public. Um, they can take pictures from above, they can be good for programs like David Attenborough so he can take images. They're really quiet so they don't scare animals, but they can also be used for spying on people which is where it gets a little bit wrong. Um, they are used for taking photographs in sporting events, to go into places where humans can't, like mountains or volcanoes. Um, they're used by the emergency services. There's loads of reasons that drones are being used in these modern days. So I want you to have a read of this um, extract as we read it together, and we'll also do the YouTube video as well. So this is the first section of our guided reading. Um, you can follow along. I'm going to attach the extract as a PDF or you can just freeze the screen now. As always, I would like you to have a look, maybe take down some notes of any words or phrases that you do not know and then we're going to have a look at researching them afterwards. So read along with me if you can or just follow it. Drones are not deemed safe for members of the public to use. During an interview with a Birmingham airport official, he stated 22 passenger aircrafts have already had to be diverted this year due to the drones flying into the airport airspace. This is causing major disruption and could result in a serious loss of life if a collision was to happen. Many experts believe that you should possess a pilot's license to fly these gadgets as they could cause immeasurable damage if not driven correctly. Drones are high-tech pieces of equipment, much like other large remote control aircrafts, all of which require a license to fly. Until the general public begin taking more care when flying drones, this issue will remain up for debate. As drones become more versatile and intelligent, their potential to be used maliciously increases. Many drones now have cameras with recording equipment on board that can be used to film and take pictures of people without their awareness or permission. Police figures report over a thousand cases of drones in intruding onto private land and taking pictures. This number is dramatically increasing. Should we really allow these machines to invade our privacy? However, it is clear when used correctly, drones can be extremely positive. A number of emergency services have begun using drones and have, fun f and have found them particularly useful when locating people or looking over large landscapes. These include mountain rescue, police forces, fire services and the lifeboat service. Statistics show that Snowden Rescue Team have deployed 27 drones this year as part of their rescues, where the aircraft has helped locate people so the teams can be sent to find them quickly. Drones are help to, helping to save lives and therefore are essential piece of technology. In addition, drones can be used by the public for harmless things such as aerial photography and news reporting. A large group of landscape photographers are beginning to use drones to take photos in places that aren't normally accessible, such as mountainous landscapes or dangerous sporting events. The National Gallery Photograph of the Year was taken with a drone and there are many runners up and lower entries. Not only does this show that drones can be used positively, but also they can improve skills such as photography, filming and sporting. To summarise, it is clear there are many valid reasons against and in support of drones being used in the United Kingdom. Although drones can be misused by members of the public, they are also being used for many positive reasons, including saving lives. We should not rush to throw out this new technology just because we are worried about the negative connotations that parallel. What do you think of the new technology? Drone? Is it a friend or foe? 
So as we've gone through that piece of extract there, it's three or so pages, and I'm just gonna find some vocabulary that I think maybe you don't know or you have underlined or you have wrote down as I've been talking through it. Again, you could go back on the screen and you can pause it so you can have a proper read through. This is a little bit different of an extract this week. We usually write doing stories or reports or biographies, whereas this is a non-fiction piece of writing and it is a debate format. So this writer is debating with himself if drones are a positive piece of technology or if they are negative and he uses many statements and many pieces of evidence and statistics to back up these findings so i want you to think about this vocabulary that i've got on the screen now so i've got the word drone as many of you might not have heard of it before um debated topic diverted collision pilot's license immeasurable versatile maliciously large landscapes statistics essential aerial photography accessible valid misused connotations and parallel so all of these words you may or may not have heard of but i would like you to go online and use a dictionary definition to find out what any of these words mean if you do not know them and if you already do know them then great can you try and put them into a sentence for me and that is your guided reading job for today if you have access to a printer you can print off the guided reading piece of work which will be attached as a PDF for you to have a look at you can annotate it like you would in school of the vocabulary you can underline any keywords that you think are important and you can have a read over it ready for the questions tomorrow And on this slide, as usual, I have some images that relate to some of the vocabulary from the last slide. So what I would like you to do is flick between both of the screens, so the vocabulary slide from last time and then this one, and see if you can match any of the images to the vocabulary. For example, this one in the top right hand corner just relates to the word drones. So I've got an image of a license here, something that looks like a mistake, some connotation words, some thin images that relate to access a dictionary definition of versatile, some um, graphic images, a car crash, otherwise known as a, see if you can fill in that blank, and then a nice image of mountains and waters, and, and it is in a specific way the picture has taken that matches to one of the vocab on the last page. So see if you can have a go at matching those as well.